Oh my god, can it see me? I don't know. Ow! Fuck, ow, I just kicked the wall. <laughs> Hello, my bitches. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm in my room. I haven't filmed in this room in a while because... Um, I don't know. So how are we all doing in quarantine? We're all fucking depressed? Okay, great. That makes me feel better for wanting to cry every hour of every day. Mm -hmm. I thought that because if I'm gonna be stuck in my room for the next however many months, days, weeks, years, timelines, solar eclipses. So I might as well just make my room the best possible room I can make it and turn my room into quarantine heaven. Because if we're stuck in here, we might as well make it as good as fucking it can get. Today we're giving my room a totally epic, crazy, isolation room makeover. Because what the fuck else do you want me to film? I'm literally stuck in my house with my family for the next two months and I... <laughs> that was my cry for help. When I first came up with this video idea, I was like, this is going to be fucking crazy. I'm going to paint the ocean on my ceiling. I'm going to get like records and like hang them up on my wall. And I'm going to like go all out and I'm going to make my room the best fucking room. Ever. And then I realized I can't afford to do that. And if I painted the ocean on my ceiling, my mom would literally chop my head off. So we're not gonna do that. This video is not gonna be very satisfying for you, and I'm sorry. It's more to like cure my boredom because I'm going out of my mind. Like, you can only watch so many episodes of Wizards of Waverly Place in one day until you start believing that you're a wizard. And I've hit that point. Again, I'm a wizard. I'm not a fucking wizard. I ordered a bunch of things from Amazon, let me get my packages. Wait, would it be cooler if I like roly polyed off my bed? So yeah, let me just- one second, I'm just gonna go get my Amazon packages. <laughs> so yeah, these are my Amazon packages. I also got another package full of blankets because I'm gonna make a big tent fort over my bed. We'll get to that later. I got hooks, luta, extension cords. <laughs> this is crazy. Is this it? <gasps> this is it. Okay, so the first step in this room makeover is lights. I wanted these so badly, but then I was like, uh, they're probably gonna go out of trend, so I just never ended up getting them. And now I'm just laying in my room bored all day, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get the lights that I've always wanted. <laughs> so, here we are. Bitches. <laughs> smells like petrol. I kind of like the smell of petrol, so I'm not complaining. Before I even get into the any, like, the, any of this juicy goodness, I'm gonna give you guys, like, a room of my tour, like, a before and after. Because I feel like that's what the room gurus do. The room makeover gods will literally cut off my testicles if I don't give you a before and after. Okay, so this is my room. I literally tried so hard to clean it, which is don't expect that type of treatment ever again because I'm not planning on cleaning my room for another three months or at least until the end of quarantine. But now I've gone and fucked it all up with the boxes. This is my room. But we have this mirror which I actually dropped on my head. Can you even see the crack? Can you see that? I dropped it on my head because I was trying to look at my back knee. And I was like trying to have a look at my back knee. And this is what I was doing. And then I dropped it on my head and it cracked. But that's just what happens when you're incapable of doing anything right like me. Then I have my bed that I sleep on. Then I have my wardrobe which isn't really a wardrobe because it doesn't have any doors and I just it kind of is just there. What am I even talking about? Then I have my tanning midden because I couldn't be bothered to find a natural place to keep it so I just put it on my bed. And then I have my beanies and my necklaces and whatever the fuck that is. And this is my stand of shit that I use daily and then we have this windowsill, you know, the basics, my wallet, my nipple tape, my speaker. So yeah, that was the before of my room. Really nothing special. I've really never dipped into interior design before because... <laughs> I've never really tried to decorate my room because we move so often. We've moved houses four times in the past year and a half. If you think I'm going through the effort to actually like decorate my room just to move and have to take it all down every three fucking months, you're wrong. I don't have the type of effort for that type of shit. So yeah, that's why my room kind of just looks like a waiting room that you wait to get tested for sexual dysfunctions. Hospital waiting room vibes. <laughs> Also, another little life update, I got glasses. I don't even think I was prepared to look this ugly, and that's saying something, because I've been ugly since birth. So these are the glasses that I got. Oh, mm. <laughs> Bitch. What the fuck? I literally look like the slug bitch from Monsters Inc. That's like, I'm Grzowski, you haven't filled out your paperwork. <laughs> Bitch. I'm just trying to protect my eyeballs. And the universe had to make me look like this. Okay, but you know what? It's really not that bad. <laughs> it really is that bad. Like, I suppose if you, like, minus the double chin, got rid of my entirely huge forehead, maybe made my hair not look like a mop, and then if you kind of just, like, overall gave my head 
an entire reconstruction. It wouldn't be that bad. I look fucking hideous. <laughs> Okay, this is the camera angle I've come up with. I'm fucking sorry, but I'm not an engineer. Maybe I should look for instructions, because I really don't want to fuck this up. Oh my god, I can connect this to my phone. The future is here, bitches. Extension cord unboxing. Why is it plugged into itself? That's some human centipede-ass shit right there. God, this baby is long. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> okay, great. So I figured that out. Oh wow, that's really loose. I might have to stick her in there with some nipple tape. Okay, well, I don't know what this fucker does. I guess she's just an extra. I call my weight. <gasps> okay, well, stop that. I need to get it on my roof first. If Charlie D'Amelio can do it, I can fucking do it. Actually, you know what? Charlie D'Amelio is a lot more talented and put together than me, so maybe I shouldn't be telling myself that. Oh my god, the first bit's on. Fuck, I didn't even line it up properly. <gasps> no, it's coming off. The wall. Fuck! Oh no! No! Ah! Oh! I just ripped a bit of the paint off the wall. Oh no, that's not good. I really thought this was gonna be easy. Oh, maybe I didn't need it to be attached to this the whole time. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so while I'm struggling right now, let me tell you about an impulsive, spontaneous decision that I made yesterday. Um, I bought Conan Gray concert tickets. When it comes to the situation, there's a couple of inconveniences, like um, the fact that I have no one to go with. I'm a lonely bitch. So I bought Conan Gray concert tickets, and I'm going by myself. But I mean, are we really shocked? Oh no, I don't think this is gonna fit. Oh, maybe it will. Please fit. I swear to God, if this doesn't fit, I'm actually gonna cry. But then also, the second inconvenience, and the second... Complication is the concerts in like a month. You might be like, okay, how's that an issue, Louie? Well, our little friend Corona, we don't know if she's gonna be over by then. So I bought concert tickets to a concert that might be fucking cancelled. I really just love wasting my money. Oh my god, I did it. I fucking did it. Okay, you know, now that I'm looking at my light display, it's really not the neatest job, but like, my room's just awkward. Like, why does my ceiling bend like that? These were the cheapest ones on Amazon, so like, if it goes to shit, I won't be completely shocked. I plugged them in, why aren't they working? Nothing's happening. Why aren't they turning on? Yes, we have light. Okay, so my family's home, but as you can see, I've got them on. I just don't know how to change the color. Look at this shit, bitches. I got the vibey lights vibing. The controller doesn't work, which is like a scam. Like, why put a controller in the box if it doesn't fucking Work. Like the only thing that works is the app on my phone, which is like fine, I guess. As you can see, my handyman work isn't the neatest. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I hit my head on the fucking fan. That was close. Don't want to lose my head just yet. <laughs> okay, but like, who's thicker, me or Carol Baskin? Carol Baskin. Okay, so welcome back to my room transformation. That was disgusting. It's three days later because my family just decided that they never want to fucking leave the house, so I can't film. I just choked on. Literally nothing. Oh my god, the neighbor's dog. He literally won't stop staring at me. Like, ho, what are you looking at? I can't vlog with an audience. Like, bitch, stop staring at me. Okay, so next in this wall transformation. Wall transformation? I'm gonna be interior designing this wall crevice thing. I don't know what it serves, like what purpose it has. It just kind of goes in for no reason, which is weird, but... Whatever. So I have a couple of things I can just shove into this crevice and make it look like Urban Outfitters. So, let's go bitches. I got this travel map thingy. It's basically like where you scratch off places that you've been to and I thought that would be really cool and trendy. What? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be, is it? Am I really going to have to put a fucking candle in every crevice? There we go. Okay, let's just fucking get scratching. I'm gonna start off with Australia, because if I can live there. I think this map is lying to me. For some reason, Papua New Guinea is connected to Australia, and I don't think that's right. I think I lived there for like my whole life, so I think I would know if Papua New Guinea was attached. I don't know, maybe things have changed. It has the flag underneath. Now that it's been like three days since I put my ceiling lights on my ceiling, I think that I can give you guys a well-equipped review on my ceiling lights. So here we go. Ceiling lights review. I like them a lot. That's the end of the review. 
you can name it on the app, like you can name each room that you have. And I named my room Louis Depression Dungeon because I just thought that was fitting. This is a lot less fun than I thought it was just gonna be. I should have hired Carol Baskin to do this for me. Where else have I been? Oh, I went to Thailand when I was like 14. I can't really remember it. What do I remember from Thailand? Oh no, I do remember Thailand. <laughs> Oh yeah, Thailand was when my parents yelled at me because I swam out way too far past the reef. Fuck, I accidentally scratched out Vietnam. I haven't been to Vietnam. Oh, now my map's lying to me. Now my map says I've been to Vietnam, but I haven't actually been to Vietnam. I mean, if anyone asked me about it, I would just be like, yeah, sure, I've been to Vietnam. Oh my god, I literally went to LA like two weeks ago. Where the fuck is that? I think it's just so fat, like sausages. It's so hard to actually get the right country. Kind of Can you even see what I've scratched off? Or is this whole thing just pointless and a huge waste of my time? I guess yep, yeah, here she is. This is really fucking- <laughs> this is so fucking- oh, This is so hard to just- Okay, here's the map that I just scratched out. Can you even fucking tell that I scratched anything out? No. Now I'm just gonna stick it on here with some sticky tack. Nice and easy. That was really not as thrilling as I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh my god, yes, I'm gonna scratch out a map and it's gonna be epic. And voila. But don't worry, this segment isn't even over yet because I got something hopefully fucking better than that. But if I have learned anything from watching apartment tours on YouTube is that... You need some fucking plants. So obviously I bought fake plants because, I mean, I can barely even keep myself alive, so as if I'm gonna be able to keep a bunch of plants alive. But on Amazon they said it looked super real, and this just kind of looks like Shrek pubes. Anyway, I was thinking I could put like one on each side to, you know, like, surround my map. I thought that could be like jungle vibes. My plan is to just like put blue tack on them and hope that they stay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, you can't even fucking see it. There she is. That doesn't look awful. I mean, it doesn't look good. I mean, you know what? This is actually kind of fun. I'm popping my interior design <laughs> cherry right now because I'm an interior design virgin. And I think that this is going to go better than I thought. Oh, it looks bad. What the fuck is that? Okay, maybe if we move it up a little bit. Comment down below and tell me if this looks good or if it looks shit. Oh my god, my parents are going to roast me for this. They're going to be like, why the fuck are that plants coming down from the ceiling? And I'm going to be like, I don't know. Just let me try. Maybe I want to interior design my room with a $10 budget. This was the one thing that I really had hopes for. I really thought this was going to work out. This is making me feel like a failure. <laughs> Why? Okay, so now the last thing that I have planned for this super good room remake room makeover that is just going so well is I'm gonna make a big ass four ten over my bed. I want a little den that I can run away to to watch Wizards of Waverly Place. And I had a feeling that that blue tack that I used to stick those fucking plants to the ceiling with. Fuck those plants. I had a feeling the blue tack was not going to be strong enough to hold up a bunch of blankets to my ceiling. So I bought these like hooks. Hopefully I can find a way to like hook the blankets to the ceiling. What if this all just falls on my head and kills me? You know what? This is fun. We're having fun, right? This is super fun. Oh, how are they going <laughs> to... How are the blankets meant to hook on? Oh my god, I did. Okay, so I tied like little knots and then I just hooked the knots over the hook. And well, I am a fucking genius. I think I found my life calling, you know. Maybe I should be a professional fort maker. Okay, well, it's getting really hot in here. I'm gonna faint. Ah, fuck. <laughs> okay, you know what? I changed my mind. Building forts is hard. If this fort actually works out, then I have a few concerns. What if I'm just laying down there, eating some snacks, playing some Fortnite, and then it collapses on my head and suffocates me to death? Like, don't get me wrong, I'll make sure I vlog it. And I have this cute little fun thing called claustrophobia, so I'm worried that that's gonna get the best of me as well. And then also, because it's so close to my fan, it's gonna get really hot up in this bitch. What if I sweat my balls off and die? <laughs> Oh my god, I've kind of fucking done it. This is the one thing going right in this video. Ah, I have a fucking fort. This is epic. This is kind of everything I've been missing in life. And that is the end of the video because my mum walked in, saw my fort, started yelling at me, and then forced me to take my fort down. Because apparently she thought it was going to rip the ceiling or like rip the roof down or some shit. It's not even scientifically possible for three blankets to like rip the roof off the house, but like... I don't know where she got that logic from. Anyway, then I started crying for two days straight because my mum made me take down my tent before I could film an outro with my tent. But you know what? That's just life. Sometimes when everything's just starting to look up, your mum will make you take down your tent and you'll cry for three days straight. So yeah, that's literally just how it ends. Bye, bitches.
trying to throw it back on my bedstand. 